like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's your review of WWE SmackDown the week commencing the 29th of July, which is the SmackDown before SummerSlam. So it starts off with Cody Rose coming out. Whoa! Cody Rose comes out. Basically, he gets straight directly to the point. He calls out Solo Sikoa. So Solo comes out, and Cody says he will beat him. No matter what, he's going to beat Solo Sokoa. And he does give props to Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. So he doesn't want to let them down. He also says that Solo is not the real tribal chief. Cody then calls out the whole bloodline. Obviously, Solo says he's coming for him. Solo saying he's dangerous. And Solo also calls out Cody Rose to have this match as bloodline rules. Means anything can happen and anybody can turn up. Wink, wink, Roman Reigns. And Cody Rose accepts. Then we go into our first match, which is Andrade versus Carmelo Hayes. These two have been going back and forth. They've been wrestling back and forth each week. Great match. Obviously, the two high flyers. Uh, Andrade is a lucha libre. Carmelo is just an awesome wrestler. In the end, Andrade got the victory. Then we have Santos Escobar telling Fantasma they need to step their game up. So they haven't been performing recently. They haven't been progressing recently. He wants that to change. So that goes in straight to his match, which is Santos Escobar versus Apollo Cruz in a really good match. Go and watch it if you haven't seen it. But in the end, Santos gets the victory. Then we have Jade Cargill and Blanca Blair. So they're coming for those tag team titles versus Isla and Alba. And they're looking to get those titles back. Then we have Logan Paul's homecoming. So Logan Paul comes out. He sort of panders to the fans a little bit. Not really, but it is his hometown. He then calls out LA Knight and also says he can't relate to people. People can't relate to him because he's made it. He's that guy. Then he releases a banner of him. But on the banner, it says, yeah, defacing it. LA Knight then comes out, calls out Logan Paul and also goes and steals his prime car. And Logan Paul is not happy with that. Then we have the tag team title match with Isla and Alba versus Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair. Really good match. It started off as a good match. I thought we was going to see a decisive win by one of the two teams. But in the end, Belair Davenport uh, interferes. And then Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill win by disqualification. Then we have Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton. Uh, having a talk because Nia Jax then gives her a new briefcase, a pink briefcase. Tiffany likes it, but she says, don't cash it in. Then in the main event of the evening on SmackDown, it's the Bloodline versus the DIY for the tag team titles. Really good match. Go and watch it. But in the end, it came down to the dominance of Jacob Fatu. Literally just put a sequence of moves on Johnny Gargano and flatlined him and got the victory and your new tag team champions, the Bloodline.